Hi, I'm Craig Johnson with IPEX Electrofusion, and I'm going to talk about our free top top loading tool. This tool is used to install our sidewall fittings. They have a flexible base. They cover an array of main sizes, um, 10 inch and up. We're going to go over use of this tool, the fittings that this tool is used on, as well as everything that comes in the case. Inside our case, we find our free top with strap. We've got a high quality air pump with an integral gauge. We've got three different adapters that allow you to apply this to an array of different fittings. And we've got our manual. These are the adapters that come with your Freya top. There's the main body, this polyethylene piece, and this concave portion. You may use one or a combination of these depending on the fitting you're installing. For your spa saddle, you just need the main body. And then your free top will fit directly on top of that. Your branch saddle, just uses the main body. You're going to flip it over, install it like that. Our repair patch has a dome surface here. You can use that concave piece right inside of that. Take your main body, slide it on top of there. Your VA saddle has some brass threads on the inside. We're going to use that polyethylene piece to protect those. Put our concave piece on that, as well as the main body. And our DAA tapping tee. You'll see there's a little shoulder here. Inside of that main body, there's a little bit of a chamfer. It sits right like that on that shoulder and your free top sits right on top of that. Now we're going to use the free top to install a DAA tapping tee. This is just a demonstration. If we were really doing an installation, this would be all cleaned and scraped and ready for a fusion. This tee can be installed in any attitude. The free top could put it on top, on the side, on the bottom, wherever it needs to be. You'll notice the large gap between the pipe and the fitting. This fitting is designed for mains between 10 inch and 16 inch. The Freya top is actually going to get rid of this gap to give us a good fusion, to make this conform to whatever size main we're fusing to. Now we're going to apply the correct adapter, which is the main body. You'll notice on the inside of that adapter, there's a curvature, or there's a chamfer right here. That chamfer sits right on the shoulder of this T. So we'll just place it directly on top like that. Now we can take our main body and set it directly on top of our adapter. And specifically with this fitting, you'll see this Y in the strap. That Y is there to accommodate this outlet. Make sure you don't do any fusion to this outlet until this tool has been removed after cooling, or else this strap will be captive on this line. We've got our free top installed on top of our fitting. You'll notice that the main body and the plate are right next to each other. That indicates there's no pressurization right now. This is our strap take-up assembly. This knob, when we put our strap through here, we're going to tighten it up with that knob. This ratcheting assembly up here holds that knob in place. So when you want to release, you're going to tighten it a little bit, pull that up, and it'll release. This knob is designed for a hand. It is not designed for a pipe wrench or any other type of tool. This is only to be hand tightened. Now we'll take our strap. Feed it through, making sure that we have no kinks. And we'll tighten it up. Our free top is mounted, our strap is through. We have no pressure in this unit. And you know that when you look through this sight window. You'll notice it says two over one. On this tool, that means zero. When we get to three over two, that'll indicate one bar, and so forth and so on. Now we're ready to pressurize our free top. We are going to remove our cap from our Schrader valve and put it in our pocket so we don't lose it.
we will hook up our air pump and pressurize. You'll notice as we pressurize, the curvature of the saddle meets the curvature of the pipe. It's a nice warm day, and it happened pretty quickly. Using this tool, you can go up to six bar in order to get that curvature to align, but you're always going to fuse at four bar. So after you get to that six bar, you'd have to back it up to four bar, check that you have no gaps, and go ahead and shoot it. Right now, this has a great relation to the pipe. We would go ahead and fuse this right now. If you were working on a cold day in the wintertime, this curvature wouldn't close up nearly as quickly. You may have to put pressure on this, let it cold flow, release the pressure through your Schrader valve, And very importantly, take up the slack with the hand knob. Now you've reset it. If you don't do that one step, you could damage this tool. We've completed our fusion and we've reached the end of our cooling time. Now we're going to remove our free atop. The first step is to depressurize. Once you depressurize, replace the cap on your Schrader valve. Now you're going to put a little tension on that hand knob so you can pull that lock up, take that strap out. When you lift this off, you're going to grab the bottom plate and lift it off as one unit as not to damage the tool. The free top is a great tool and you'll have it for a very long time if you take care of it. Put the cap back on the Schrader valve, clean the strap, and wipe it all down. Make sure you put it all back in the case.